this afternoon when they'll set their third paper, English Composition. And I want us to talk about um, what is happening in the country. Um, at the moment, the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee has been processing some petitions that are presented by Kenyans to remove some four commissioners. We're talking about Juliana Cherera, Irene Masit, Justice Nyangaya and uh, Francis Wandera on different grounds, but more specifically because of their role during the 2022 election and actually the presidential election. There was some confusion um, early last week at a time that uh, the committee was still setting the ground rules. Uh, the Azimio La Umoja members of parliament in that committee decided to boycott the sittings. This morning it is expected or it is scheduled that um, the commissioners should begin to present themselves, to defend themselves. But this has caused uh, quite um, a division in the country. Let's listen first to what the Azimio uh, Moja uh, leader, that is uh, Roy Lodinga, has had to say on what course of action to take. We will begin in Nairobi on Wednesday. We will have a meeting with the people of Nairobi at Kamkunji grounds to ask them if they accept that these commissioners should go home. We will then do the same thing in Mombasa. We'll do the same thing in Nakuru. We'll do the same thing in Kisumu. Do the same thing in Kakamega. Because an independent electoral commission is the referee. It cannot be appointed by a player. Right. So that is Ray Lodinga, but uh, the president and his deputy have also been speaking about it. Watch. All right, we'll uh, be listening to them shortly. That is uh, uh, Rigadi Gashagwa and William Ruto as they responded uh, to the question of uh, the mass action, but also the meetings that uh, Ray Lodinga is talking about there so that uh, <clears throat> it can give us the context as we engage in this conversation. All right, anyway, as we wait for that, uh, John Kagusha, you're a member of the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee. I'm just wondering, with the exit of um, the members from the Azimio side, how are you going on with the operations at the committee? Uh, first, Sam, I would like to point out that uh, I, I don't think there was confusion on uh, when we when we had the first sitting. Mm -hmm. uh, what happened is uh, it seems like the commissioners who have uh, the petition against them do not seem to understand how the process works, mm -hmm. and. Uh, we, we received the petitions, and, and, and one must understand that uh, the petitions which have been brought are four of them, and they have been brought to the National Assembly, and this has been done by the public, and it has been done in accordance to, uh, to the law. We have uh, Article 251 of the Constitution, which gives any member of the public uh, the powers to petition the National Assembly if they so wish. It is uh, in 251 two, that a person deciding to uh, the removal of a member of a commission or of a holder of an independent office on any ground specified in Clause 1 may present a petition to the National Assembly setting out the alleged facts uh, constituting the ground, that ground. So th this is uh, being done in accordance with the Constitution. So there's nothing unconstitutional about the petitions that have been presented to the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. Once a uh, a petition is presented to the National Assembly, it is, uh, it is taken to the clerk who then uh, looks at it and uh, evaluates the issues which are therein and then forwards it to, to the speaker with the recommendations on which committee that uh, petition is going to be listened in. And in this case, uh, the committee that was picked as the most relevant committee uh, that has to do with this is uh, Justice and Legal Affairs Committee. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the first uh, meeting when we, uh, we met, uh, the Azimio lawmakers, together with the, uh, the, the, the uh, council, for the commissioners. Mm -hmm. and, and at some point you'd wonder why the councils for the petitioners seem to be working in synchrony with, the, with, the, with one formation of the political, I mean one of the political formations, that is the Azimio. It sometimes it's is, is, is a bit more telling. Why, if these ones are truly dependent, 
why then are they working together with the Azimio members of parliament in JLAC committee? Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't when we had agreed in our ground rules as, as, a, as a justice and legal affairs committee that the members of the committee will be working together as members of the committee and then the petitioners will come and present their case mm -hmm. and we agreed uh, that the lawyers and the council or even the commissioners themselves, if they decide to attend, would then interrogate the petitioners and cross-examine them if they so wish. Okay. Yeah, but in this case, we come to a meeting and all of a sudden, the two of them cross floor and they are working together as if they are one component. And then you ask yourself, were these commissioners independent in the first place? So. One of the arguments that was made uh, by the two parties together, that is the commissioners and Azimio members of parliament, is that the JLA committee did not have jurisdiction. Never mind, the issue of jurisdiction was never raised by either of the Azimio members of parliament when we had the, the preliminary meetings in the committee. None of them raised the issue of jurisdiction. Uh, and again, when we looked at the issue of jurisdiction, it was clearly uh, seen that the jurisdiction was there and this is a committee with, with, with that mandate. Okay. And at some point you remember we retreated mm -hmm. and when we went there we had a lot of uh, legal arguments and in that we agreed that indeed the, we had the jurisdiction. At some point members of Azimio mm -hmm. um, were making too much noise as to interfere with the process. You know, it's like they did not want the process okay, to I'll, take off. I'll get off. back to you, but Honorable Kosing. Yes. Was this a coalition decision that Azimio members in JLA could not sit um, in, in the hearings? And how then does that serve the interests of the people you represent? You see, uh, some, I would say that is the decision of the members of the JLAC, mm -hmm. right? And, and, and uh, our members and members of parliament are, are informed by their own thinking on how or what they see. Let me tell you, uh, Sam. Let us not beat about the bush. It's already been decided by KK that these commissioners must you go. You mean Kenya Kwanza? Yes. That? Done. Decided they must go. If you got even the language outside parliament, rock, all this, all this, it's already a decision. It's already a decision that these are not good people. They must go. Mm -hmm. So the script, the script has been done, properly prepared. Although John says that you know why are these people who are now as a meal in the committee, why are they colluding maybe with the, 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 the legal team of the other side? But this petition must be interpreted as Kenya Kwanza petitions. It's true. How so? The petitions they have already carry individual names of... If you... <laughs> for just for purposes of people seeing that they are individuals, but it's not. Mm -hmm. Look at the language. I wish you had then played even what other leaders are saying mm -hmm. outside parliament. The decision has been made. There is no need then to take a cow from where I come from, or a goat, to a court where hyena is a presiding officer. That case is decided. So let me so, ask, so, 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 Honorable Kosing, if some Kenyans have a problem with commissioners or whichever commission, what are they supposed to do? I'm even told which, which are matter we need to, we will, we will interrogate today, tomorrow in parliament. I'm even told that there's other petitions which are not presented to the house. Mm -hmm. They only ended up in the clerk's office. And that will really bring this repute if it is true those claims. And I'm told that the, those, the, those people who made the petitions have already presented their issues in court. I'm not sure, but I've read in, 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 in dailies, right? The and petition they, against um, Hofle uh, Chibukati? Yes, and yes. We, we, I, read, I, I read about that in the social media. Mm -hmm. And if it is true that it is in clerk's office, not transmitted to parliament, then you, then you don't need to talk next. So I, 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 think, I think, Sam, we have a problem. And even by those members, leaving the committee, it makes the committee lack legitimacy. They should have stopped. And we go back to say, then what happens? Because one side of the coalition cannot, cannot then proceed <coughs> with the other side when the other side have left. And I will tell you this, uh, the larger perspective is this, this. First, as I said, the decision has been made, this commission must go. So let us sanitize the process. Number two, the most unfortunate part, we have gone a wrong route, uh, uh, Sam. In fact, the Kenya Kwanzaa government was enjoying a lot of goodwill from the National Assembly, both sides of the house. Mm -hmm. They were enjoying a lot of goodwill, even from the public. There are so many problems that Kenya Kwanzaa need to, to solve, not, not Herrera. We, there's no election tomorrow, sir. You can agree with me, there's no election tomorrow. 
election is five years. But, but since, Honorable Kosing, since this is a decision that will be made by the Justice and Legal, Legal Affairs Committee, then the plenary of the House, why won't your members participate? You see, uh, you know, let me tell you something, that's why we are human beings. You can see the process that has already been contaminated. It's true. You don't need to, you don't, then you don't need to, to legitimize a process that's already be, been made a decision. But that's why I'm saying, Sam, the larger, the, that's why I'm here. The larger thinking which I, which I want to bring mm -hmm. to the attention of the, of the nation, mm -hmm. we have gone the wrong way. And, and Kenya Kwanzaa, in my view, were enjoying a lot of goodwill in parliament. Okay. I remember, Sam, when we were proceeding, this issue of debate of, oh, who is the leader majority and minority. That was a very hot debate. Mm -hmm. We even came here. Mm. So when it was decided by the speaker like that, you know, the leadership of coalition said, you guys, eh, please lead us along the country. The committee, we did not agree on this timetable, but you used okay. some um, words. So, sorry, Honorable Kosing, uh, carry on. So even, that's what I'm saying, the goodwill, which now Kenya Kwanza is throwing out of the window. The leadership of Azimio told us, you guys, let us not even proceed to court to ask who is the leader of majority and minority. This is our country. Mm. Let you people take your, take your, take your positions as, as in the minority side. We are serving the same government. Let us proceed and give this government an opportunity to be able to help our country. There are many problems. There are many problems. Number one, they need to deal with us last fund. No, I'll, I'll come back. I'll come back to that. But uh, Why are we taking the Kenyans in the wrong road? I'll, I'll come back. Uh, Deputy Speaker, it's very emotive. This, the, this is the claim <laughs> and actually a matter that has been presented in court of a petitioner saying that uh, they have brought to the House a petition to remove Ofula Chebukati, Abde Guli, and Boya Molu, but I, that is, is not that, on schedule of that. what is being considered by JLAC. How does the office of the clerk and the office of the speaker make decisions on such and why would wouldn't such a petition find its way to the to the committee yes okay i'll just answer you in a minute but uh, allow me to correct myself on something i said earlier yeah. mm -hmm. uh, relating to the students getting into junior secondary i actually realized they're 12 years old yeah. going to go to class with teenagers mm -hmm. children who are not uh, who are who are Preteens, literally. So I just want to correct myself on that. Uh, I think we talk about that uh, the the alleged uh, petition that came to Parliament and never made it to the floor of the House. Mm -hmm. I think that was addressed. It was an allegation made by the leader of uh, minority. Uh, the, it was brought to the Speaker's attention. Mm -hmm. He was asked to bring a copy that was duly stamped by the clerk's office because normally the presenter mm -hmm. normally goes away with a copy that's stamped received mm -hmm. and I think the clerk's office was directed to ensure that it makes its way to the floor of the house. So that was a, it's an administrative issue. There's nothing political about it. Mm -hmm. So eventually it will be processed? Yeah, it will be processed and oh. it will come before parliament. Okay. Uh, but I just, uh, you know, just want to speak about this topic in this way. Um, I've seen uh, the newspapers have quoted Raila Odinga saying that I will be speaking more in future, but the first step is to block these people from sending the commissioners home. Uh, that is his view. Uh, it's very interesting because if there's anyone who has consistently, <laughs> persistently removed commissioners from office is Raila Amolo Odinga. If you remember, mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, after the Kivuitu team, uh, left office, there was then the Hamed Isak led commission. Mm -hmm. Immediately he lost the elections. They had demonstrations outside IBC, Hamed Isak must go, must go, until Hamed Isak and his team had to go. He did not use the process of a petition, which is a process that is provided under the constitution and supported by the standing orders of the National Assembly. He did not use that route. He rioted, tear gas, and so on, until uh, the Hamed Isak team left. When the Hamed Isak team left, there was then the orengo Kiraitu Joint Parliamentary Committee mm -hmm. that then came up with a formula of hiring new commissioners. That is how we got the Chebukati-led commission. Soon after that, Again, the same Raila Amolo Odinga was out there saying that uh, Chabukati must go. Eventually, pressure was brought to bear on four commissioners who resigned unceremoniously. Thereafter, there were only three commissioners left who continued to hold office and uh, bravely uh, continued the work of the commission until uh, one year was left to the election this, uh, and then the, the, the four were hired. These mm -hmm. four that, uh, that now uh, there is issues, the Masit, Wanderi, Nyaganya, and uh, 
and Cherare. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you would have expected Raila Odinga, if he was consistent, I would have wanted him during that gap, when we were pushing that the positions must be filled, he didn't push for the positions to be filled. He was happy leaving it vacant until such time as they put in. And it was the Hanshaw government that then eventually uh, did this. What we must be asking ourselves as Kenyans is, the, the constitution provides that any Kenyan can bring a petition to parliament. Mm -hmm. And the law says, if parliament finds there is a prima facie case for putting, putting it before a committee to consider it, the speaker shall so rule and will go to the relevant committee. We are following the rule of law. Mm -hmm. And then, once it goes to the commission, again, I mean to the committee, again, the committee is not going into the detailed evidence against the commissioners. All it's doing is establishing there is a prima facie case that can be, can be interrogated further by a tribunal. So they will rule whether there is that case and therefore recommend establishment of a tribunal or say there is no prima facie case and not recommend um, the establishment of a tribunal. So actually, we are speaking too early. The committee has not made its decision. Oh, and allow me to was, finish this. Yes, just allow a moment. me to finish just, this. Just a moment. I want yes. to listen to something that I can ask you a question in regards to what you just okay. said. Uh, let's listen to the deputy president and the president as they spoke about um, the decision uh, by Ray Lodinga. Your Excellency, where you are away, the same people are asking the people of Kenya to go back to the streets because Parliament is doing its work and is an independent institution. These people who want our children to go to the streets have organized and arranged for their children to go and serve in the East African Legislative Assembly in Arusha. Everybody is doing their job, I think. <laughs> I think they are, the opposition is doing their job. The executive will, we will do our job. The judiciary will do their job. Oh, all right. Uh, so that's the president and the deputy. Um, of course, deputy president says that parliament is doing what is within its power. But uh, there are some tweets which I'll be showing you shortly on screen. Do you allow me to finish? Uh, uh, yes, this is for you, Honorable Boss. Uh, William Ruto tweeted, I believe it was on Friday, the lords of impunity who destroyed oversight institutions using the handshake fraud should allow parliament to hold rogue officials who put their nation in danger by subverting the democratic will of the people to be held to account. New order is rule of law, not wishes of big men. Please underline that word, hold rogue officials. And then the, president, uh, the former prime minister said, there is due process and natural justice. Things aren't just done at the whims of the executive. The rule of law must prevail and not your jungle laws that you want to institute so as to subjugate Kenyans to a conveyor belt system of elections come 2027. So the question for you, Gladys Boss, even as you said that uh, we're speaking too early, the president has, has already expressed himself that these are rogue officials who must be held to account. So it then appears that yes, parliament is doing its job, but he has already made a decision. Um, I think, Sam, the president is speaking. It was on his Twitter account. Mm -hmm. But what we will go by is what the committee will decide. The president is not a member of the Just and Legal Affairs Committee. Neither is he a petitioner in the matter. And neither is he coming to give evidence. Yes, just the way I'm speaking now, I am not a member of the Just and Legal Affairs Committee. What I am speaking to is that have we followed what our constitution has designed? Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. Is the com and the committee, remember, they are not going to use the president's uh, statement on Twitter as part of the evidence in the, in the, in, uh, in the committee report. Mm -hmm. They are going to use what the others, what has been presented before them. If you look at, uh, I've, I, I also you played a clip there where Raila Odinga said he will have mass action rallies across the country to stop this petition. Just ask him to send lawyers and witnesses to the committee. That is the proper thing to do. That's what a statesman does. If you want to defend the four commissioners, mm. simply send lawyers for, to help them, send witnesses to support their, their case, and that's the way to do it. And even for the commissioners, what they should do is appear and show that that petition has no merit. We are not a kangaroo republic or a banana republic, as people say. We are a, a republic that has laws, that is a democratic state, and so parliament is not acting on its own motion. Parliament is acting 
on a petition by a citizen. Mm -hmm. Imagine if I, I petitioned about uh, about uh, uh, demanding the, the ban of harmful pesticides in our market. Imagine if Raila held rallies to stop my petition. You know, <laughs> the parliament is supposed to hear my petition and make a decision. This is not the only petition. And the way it's make, being made is as if this is the only petition that comes to parliament. There are hundreds of petitions in parliament. There is petitions about school uniforms. There's petitions about police officers. There's petitions about land. There's petitions mm -hmm. on almost every aspect that touches Kenyans' lives. Okay. So mass action is an illegal um, activity. It is not provided by law when there is a process going on. I have also seen uh, that they are beginning uh, to, to even involve the judiciary. When uh, on this issue of the petition, someone went to court to stop uh, the, the, parliament, the parliamentary committee from processing the petition. The court said, refused to give conservatory orders and allowed, as the matter is being debated in court, that the the, the petition is being processed by parliament. What has happened now? Mm -hmm. We are informed um, that someone else has gone to a Kisumu court, <laughs> again, to try and get the same order. You can see somebody's forum shopping. And my plea to the judiciary is do not allow to be used okay. by some of these people. They are you. litigating matters that have been litigated. In any case, mm. there is a precedent that was set in the last parliament where uh, the then speaker, J.B. Muturi, uh, made a ruling and said you cannot inject parliament because it is premature. Right. No cause of action has happened. You let the process of, uh, of the petition proceed or the process of vetting to proceed and then should the end result not be within the constitution, then you make you an application challenge to challenge it. And, and but you cannot challenge uh, that which has not happened. It's like saying I'm taking Gladys to court because she was thinking about killing somebody. I haven't yeah. done it. All right. I, I'm, I hope you're not. I'm looking at uh, Article 251 of the Constitution that talks about um, a process of uh, removing um, a commissioner or a member of an independent institution from office. And you will see that um, uh, the president, if, if parliament makes a decision that there are grounds <coughs> of removal, then uh, the president on receiving the petition on receiving the petition the president may suspend the member or officer or office holder pending the outcome of the complaint and shall appoint a tribunal in accordance with clause 5 so clause 5 talks about the tribunal shall consist of a person who holds or has held office as a judge of a superior court who shall be the chairperson at least two persons who are qualified to be appointed as high court judges and one other person who is qualified to assess the facts in respect of the particular ground for removal. And I'm just wondering, and let me begin with Honorable Kagusha. If you allow me to just give one more last. No, 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 no. I have to say something. I have to say something. <laughs> that I, I did. And you also apportion time, eh? Yeah, uh, yes. Uh, 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 equitably. I, 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 now, that, uh, now you know that I'm only one. Yes, there are I two. will. I will. I am aware of that. Yes. I, I, and Honorable Kagusha. Yeah. If the president is already like, expressing himself that yeah, this wrong officials right, yeah. Yeah. who must be held to account, yeah. and he has sufficient power in the constitution to appoint independently to appoint this uh, tribunal then where is fairness in this process well uh, f first let me maybe no, please just go straight to that yeah but i need uh, to clarify question. to kosing that uh, much more kosing that uh, I, I am here now maybe as a member of uh, jlac so i'm explaining from that perspective from an expert and uh, an arbiter in this case an the question, for, for for him and uh, mwishimua uh, deputy speaker you know i'm so speaking to the law <laughs> yeah so he can uh, he can uh, rest assured that uh, we are executing or we are prosecuting this case uh, in a very fair manner but, but but as we as we are moving there, but let me just say that the the the, the uh, councils that were sent for the commissioners made very interesting arguments in the in the in the committee mm -hmm. uh, because they, they they looked like they did not understand uh, what that committee was all about and they did not even understand what petitions are all about because mm -hmm. they came and argued that, that that case was supposed to have been presented to the powers and privileges committee which I'm also a member and and I informed them that powers and privileges committee does not deal with the 
commissioners in, from independent commissions. Mm -hmm. It instead deals with the powers and privileges of members of uh, National Assembly. Okay. And then so uh, the council, I think by the name Arwa, who had you know made that argument, I, I really wondered um, why they seem to, to be so ignorant. And probably that's why mm -hmm. they were also not able to get the orders they were uh, so they were seeking go, go, go from, vicious, the, from, the, from the high court. Fairness of now, process that the president has already expressed himself mm, about. Mm. Now, the president is a politician, mm. and president was a candidate in the last election, an election where uh, the four commissioners unfairly targeted him and, in fact, came up with a very malicious uh, decision to bar him from taking presidency, where he was a candidate. Mm -hmm. Now, if the Supreme Court did not pronounce itself on that matter, then they would have been seen to have been fairly doing what they were doing. But now, all the arguments they had made were all one by one, uh, you know, set aside by the Supreme Court. In fact, the Supreme Court called their arguments hot air. No, it, was, and, and, it wasn't that and, specifically. And it was about the presentation by the um, exactly by the petitioners. No, no, actually, it's, it's getting, it's, it's the not getting that. It's not getting the petitioners. They, they were, you know, no, they swapped. They, they are getting the facts wrong. That, that, that's, let, that's let, let's speak to. about what is yes. actually on paper. The petitioners are. It's true. Not, you know, the commissioners are respondents, and Justice Chief Justice was referring to hot air as the Camargo issue that was raised by Julie Soweto. Yeah, and, so let, and let's just be specific. Uh, Sam, yeah. you remember that the four commissioners joined the Azimio side as petitioners. You remember them picking yes. their own. On paper, answers. they are respondents. Yeah. So if that's your interpretation, just and, carry and, on with it. And, and, uh, and uh, oh, of, of course, even that. Uh, uh, information. They are the ones who are supplying to the Azimio people. And it was very misleading because I, like now you can remember that Camargo issue. You remember it is uh, someone who had taken a photo of uh, something which was on top of, 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 uh, of a form which had been written there for, uh, you know, Camargo. And, and of course that's what was called hot air. Now, uh, th there seems to be a lot of ignorance. And in this case, uh, the president, having been a politician and having been a contestant in that election, is, has an opinion as a, as a politician himself. Mm -hmm. But now when it comes to executing his uh, constitutional duty, it is not himself arrogating himself that duty to now pick on a tribunal. But it is the constitutional how, duty. How do you separate? Okay, let, let me ask you this, because these commissioners, as you said, they were in court as respondents, but you're saying that uh, there is, there is an extension of the petition. But the Supreme Court decision talked about the dis dysfunctionality of, of IBC. Yes. Oh, I, of, yes, of IBC. Yes. So when you're working there as a commissioner, I mean, how do you apply your mind? If indeed you think a certain process is... The, the dis Just hold on. If you think a process is not going as it's supposed to be an express your opinion, how is that now taken that you are rogue? I mean, how do you distinguish that? You see, what happened is that the dysfunctionality of the IBC commission was brought about by the apparent win by the Kenya Kwanzaa side. When it was apparent that they were winning, the four commissioners, for some reason, uh, now ensured that uh, they made this commission dysfunctional. Unfortunately, they did it last minute because they thought they were in charge of the whole process and they thought they were able to control what they had been given the task to do so. By who? And, and by the Azimio side. And now now, not true. At the point of at the point when they discovered that not they true. were getting that. out of hand. No, it's not true. You, you know, cannot go and, and challenge. You know, you know. No, no, no. Jo, John, you know, the, the court of law, the court of law, for example. <coughs> the, but we cannot sit down when the, the court of law, for example, when misleading is happening. Uh, declared that. Uh, uh, Commissioner Mas uh, uh, Masit not this, was this not uh, no, properly. I, I, I think Ho Honorable Kagoshia, yeah. we'll get to that, but you're, you're moving away from the question that I asked. So, yeah. Honorable Kosing, let me ask you this. Um, no, you, you have asked about how I know that they were under the instructions of Azimio to, de to make the commission dysfunctional at that point, uh -huh. isn't it? So, 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 let me tell you why. Uh -huh. uh, when uh, the bombers of Kenya uh, when it was apparent that Kenya Kwanzaa was winning, what happened? They exited and went to Serena. And when they exited and went to Serena, as they were doing their own announcement there, the uh, kanchori led group, which was representing Azimio, was on the other side causing chaos. Mm -hmm. Later on, when this Cherera 4 were reading their presser, in fact, the same same presser they were reading is the same same presser Raila Odinga was also reading with the same wording mm -hmm. with the same the similarity everything. in the words now when again they so, went to court when they went to the supreme court the Cherera four 
again joined as a meal in their argument. Again, when we have come to JLAC, you have seen when the petitioners, who are Kenyans, by the way, independent Kenyans who have come to the, com to the, to the committee, when they come to prosecute their case, who appears? The top organ of uh, Azimio. They okay. appear in, in, in the committee and they appear together with the council for the four commissioners. Why would you say that these four commissioners and Azimio are not working together as one unit? Mm -hmm. Why would you say that they are independent? Okay. They, they, they have been uh, at the behest, if, if you can interpret it from what we are seeing, they are the behest of the, of the, of the Azimio side. Okay. So that, that is why. Just hold on. Honorable Kosing, you wanted to make an interjection. Something that you didn't agree. Is it about the instructions? From uh, to the yes, I will make an interjection, but there's something we call point of order uh, in Parliament, <laughs> sir, which I want to inform this uh, yourself as a speaker now. <laughs> <laughs> that remember, I'm only one from the, the other side of the of, yes, of, yes. of, 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 of the divide. Mm -hmm. So you have to do, to control time. If I, I mean uh, equit equitably. Now, sir, number one, even Kenyans who are watching, uh, John. And John is a member of Justice and Legal Affairs Committee. Why would any, any commissioner go to his committee? Why? He's made a decision. He's been used to make a decision that these people must go home. Yes, by who? Uh, by Kenya Kwanza. He's already made a decision, and, and yet he's supposed to be arbiter. In fact, if it was me, I was not going to come to this debate because I am an arbiter. And he should remain neutral until when the committee makes a decision. Is, has made a is there neutrality in politics? You've been there for many years. Y y yes, you see, the neutrality is uh, if you are an arbiter, please give the process, you know, that, that, that uh, non, uh, non partisan point of view. I will tell you this um, from where I sit. Mm -hmm. Number one is we have taken our country a wrong road. We have so many issues, some that need to be addressed immediately. We are not under threat for election. The issue of Akina Cherara can remain until two years or so, we can address them. Now, there's a serious issue of insecurity, Sam that needed to be addressed like yesterday. There is a very serious issue about education dying. Education, let me tell you, if we don't do something, we will not have a country next year, by the end of next year. Universities are dying. Go to Ikaton, go to Moi, go to everywhere. It's dying. Our parents are opening school towards the end of next year, I mean, towards the end of first month. <laughs> Where will parents get fees? You find that schools you are- You said towards the end of what? Pardon? You said towards the end uh, of? Towards the end of the first month. Ah, okay. That is uh, towards the end of January next year. Mm -hmm. Maybe about tw yeah, 2010, about 24th. There, there about 20, 20, uh, 2023. Yes, about 23rd yes. Yes. of January. Mm. Fees is a problem as I talk to you. Why? Because people don't know what is going on. Schools are adding fees. Universities are adding fees. We parents, I don't know where they're going. Cost of living is at the very highest in ever in this country. So, so, hey, so, so I, I'm, 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 I'm pleading, I'm pleading, uh, uh, Sam. As I said earlier, which you didn't give me enough opportunity, that this government started with the goodwill. They needed to remain within the goodwill to be able to deliver. Hasla's fund, Hasla's fund uh, is, is being weighted. We like it ourselves from this side of the divide. But now the process has been taken to become a, a, a regulation rather than making an act of parliament, making something that is even questionable. They would have done the right thing, Sam. There are so good things that this government would have done. Mm -hmm. And then maybe two, three years to election, we can now come and say, revisit the issue of Gerera. Now what has happened? And you know, election is emotive. You, this country is divided in the middle, Sam. Like it or you don't. Seven million? So let me ask you this. Seven million. If you have, like, like he says, a commission where it was split almost in the middle. So you have three commissioners, um, including Chebukati on one side. You have four uh, led by Cherer on, on the other side. How would you suggest that that problem is resolved? This, this is how it will resolve. I'm not saying that they should not go home. I'm not saying that Akina Cherera, Akina Chebukati should not go home. But if you have agreed that there, is a, there was a problem, of course, there was a problem both sides. It's not only on the meal. Chebukati was hell-bent on KK. Absolutely. How do you know that? Was extremely hell-bent. How do you From know the that? beginning. From the beginning to the end. How do you know that? You see, even you, can look, you, you can see somebody's uh, the, uh, 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 body yeah? <laughs> and, and see where, where he's leaning to. I'll tell you this, Sam. Even, even the, the entire debate, even how he was being, when he came to parliament, the way he was being celebrated by KK, you would say these people are actually in bed. So, so we can agree that. No, look, listen now to, to answer your question. What about Kosin? Listen, if, to, if you win an election, wouldn't you be happy with the referee? Why would one side be happy? No, I'm asking, you, I'm asking you, 
Why would one side? You know, you know, Sam. Eh? Me has never been. Happy. You know, we are politicians. Rail has never been. No, no, no. Any, I'm not speaking. Any commission. Sam, I'm not speaking for anybody. I'm speaking my mind. So, so the and question nobody, I'm asking. So, so, to, to answer your question, to answer your question, Sam, I'm yeah. not saying that they should stay, but this is how they would go, right? Mm -hmm. Rather than taking this country because we know that we have, we have problems in this country, we should have said, no, let us not ignite emotions. Raila and Azimio will get a lot of customers now. They will be building on, on, on GMO, on what and what, and we will take our country wrongly. What would have happened is negotiate with these people to exit. You see? I said, look, you know what? How do you do that within the law? You see, you, you, don't, you, don't, need, you, don't, you don't need to do everything within the law, Sam. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I mean we are, listen, uh, listen, listen, listen. That is also within the law. <laughs> Resigning is within the law. There's provision for them to resign. What happened with, the, with, the, with, the, with the Kinoti? Kinoti exited. What happened with the uh, police commissioner? He exited. That is the best way. Talk to them, tell them, look, look you know, guys, eh? I don't think if this is how we are going to continue. Because after all, like that, the chairman are going. So talk to them. The way, uh, as, an, as an team, they were paid full money. Then now they can exit in a very non-controversial manner. This, let me tell you, sir, we are, you don't think that this is just a small debate. If we take this road, which I, I, will, I will really pray that we don't go this road uh -huh. of going to the streets, of uh, uh, igniting emotions, mm -hmm. we, then the, we will have lost the direction of this country, Sam. And then and, 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 and Azimia will get a lot of customers. So, so, so just on, I, we should not go this road. I, I want to, because I mean, Honda was saying, if the constitution, Article 251 provides on how to remove a commissioner, why is negotiation within that? Article? Calling them is not a, a you, law. You, you see, and, and, okay, so they have chosen this road. Let's give this road a time. And you'll see, I'll tell you, sir, it will not make us work together. It will not bring this country together. Let me tell you, it is going to be a very rocky road. For, for no reason. We are right. chosen a wrong road. Okay. You know, Sam, uh. there are so many tools available for you as a, as a leader. As I said earlier, I want to say, Kenya Kwanzaa president, William Ruto, has a lot of goodwill in this country. Even in parliament, Sam, he has a lot of goodwill from both sides. People are saying, let's give our president an opportunity to be able to fix these things. Everybody likes us as far as I said earlier. We and Azimio made 6,000 shillings. Okay. The other guys proposed us It's the same thing. I, I think and, and, and now, now you're, you're, you've no, made no, your no, point on that. You are, uh, taking, you are taking the road outside, and the, the, the game will be played outside there. Do, will you control the, the, the end? I'm saying you've made your point. Deputy Speaker, how do you preside such a house? I mean, so divided in opinion, but also with a lot of influence from outside, so much so that you have half of a committee walking out, and then you have members remaining already taking uh, something as if they have already taken a position guided by what uh, the position of the president is. You know, Sam, it's not as complicated as you make it sound. Uh, it's not difficult to preside over a house like that because there is rules, there is laws, and there is standing orders. Mm -hmm. The standing orders clearly provides for the quorum. So if they walked out, as long as they are not below the quorum, the committee stands were legally constituted and will proceed. Because we also don't want to leave a situation where uh, work stops at the whims of a few people. Mm -hmm. That is why there is a rule on quorum. So that one is not difficult. Is it, uh, do you have quorum? If the answer is yes, proceed. Also, I want us to not confuse Kenyans on this point. Honorable Kosing has put it well that yes, the president has come in with a lot of goodwill, the Kenya Kwanzaa team has come in with a lot of goodwill. But don't make it sound like this is uh, the petition is a Kenya Kwanzaa agenda. It is. The petition is a petition by ordinary Kenyans who have brought it before the parliament. The parliament it, yeah. has the obligation <laughs> and the legal mandate to hear and process that petition. Let us also put it this way. As, we are build, as the government is building the Hustler Fund, that is the job of the executive. As parliament receives petitions, they process their work because that is the work of parliament. So it, you don't make, it, Honorable Kosin, it doesn't mean that when the petition is going on, everything in Kenya stops. Parliament doesn't process the Hustler Fund. It will stop. So parliament can proceed with their work. Wait. It's not to the exclusion the of the other. Each job is continuing. If it is something on agriculture, that is being dealt with. If it is the cost of living, we got the National Treasury, who it is their job to think and see how to revamp the economy. It, is, it doesn't mean that because the petition is ongoing, now the National Treasury has folded its arms waiting for the petition. That is not how the government works. I think you're making it uh, sound like, like the government uh, is, uh, you know, 
can't do two things, can't multitask. The government arms each have their own task. And let us say this for mm -hmm. Kenyans to understand mm -hmm. that um, this is not the, these are not the first commissioners that a petition has been brought for their removal. Mm -hmm. You know that? They're not the first commissioners. They, in the past, the Judicial Service Commission, there's been a petition for their removal. It has happened in the past, and Parliament actually did recommend their removal. Uh, eventually, I think uh, the, there was a court process. Two, there has been uh, uh, petitions for removal of various judges. Many, many judges have gone through the same petition mm -hmm. uh, process. It came to Parliament, eventually it went to the Judicial Service Commission, then it eventually a tribunal was established. There has been um, petitions for removal of... Uh, in fact, there was an attempted pe petition for the removal of the Deputy Chief Justice. So the process of removal of officers through a petition has been happening. Right. It is not, uh, it's not the first time. Mm -hmm. So let us not make it look, it's only on this one, one of the, uh, you know, the, the second largest political party in Kenya, the leader, has taken a stand. Okay. And, and said that they would have uh, riots across the country and demonstrations until they stop it. But again, honorable, honorable boss, but, you, you said but, uh, that, um, and, uh, Sam, what I would like you as the media, mm -hmm. ex or constantly explain to Kenya that the law provides, the parliament is doing within the law. Mm -hmm. the, the methodology suggested by Honorable Kosin that uh, they can be called and told to resign, now that is illegal. Because that is forcing it's, it's not, it's someone not to be removed. Yes, it's yes. Not. No, you can't, <laughs> you can't put uh, pressure uh, you to know, bear. You know, you know. That was the, that's the method Sam, of Raila Odinga. Sam, it, it is Shout uh, until the person resigns. No. But let, uh, the, the, the petitions are there. No. Let us just process the petitions. And in any case, I don't know why. You, I haven't read uh, the petition myself. But at this stage, I tell people the committee is simply checking visa prima facie case. It's true. The tribunal okay. shall interrogate. Honorable boss, I, uh, why do you fear? Let's why are you already this. fearful, yet mm. the, the committee decided? No, no the Cherare 4 have not even appeared before the committee, I think. They should, they should appear. Why should be appearing appear? Yes, they have not appeared yet. So let them appear. The, so we are not go, and and uh, there's nothing wrong with myself uh, or uh, the member of JLAC from discussing this matter, provided we don't go into the merits uh, um, and demerits of the case. Oh, okay, no, 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 no. The, the, Deputy he's, Speaker, he's, you've said something. He discussed the facts that are before them, not the merits and the merits. No. Deputy Speaker, you've... There's a very big difference. Hello, uh, you've said something that... I understand um, the law on subjudice perfectly. Just hold on, perfectly. honorable uh, Deputy Speaker. You've said something that uh, ordinary Kenyans brought the um, petitions. I want us to listen to them and see who they are. Watch. Hmm. The four commissioners attempted to subvert the will of the people and overturn the sovereign of the will of the people of Kenya. There is a lot of criminal capability, not just for the four commissioners. We are talking about a horde of people who had captured this nation for their own expediency. And as long as that conduct is retained, Honorable Chair, this nation shall not be ultimately free. On 17th day of August 2022, the chairperson of the commission issued a statement deta detailing the events leading to the declaration of the result and clearly stated that the four commissioners were pushing for moderation of result to force a runoff of the presidential elections. We have a live court order saying she is not qualified for appointment as an IEBC commissioner, but she is in office. That order already says her appointment was in violation of the Constitution. Honorable Boss, do you know any of those? Boss. Those facts. Mm. Boss. Honorable Boss. Boss. Sorry? Do you know any of those petitioners? I, I know uh, Dennis Ntumbi. Dennis Ntumbi. Ntumbi. Yeah, that one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget how to pronounce it. <laughs> yes. no, no, you, you know, you said ordinary Kenyans. Is he ordinary? I saw him when you were going for the preparations for the inauguration of... Um, Mm -hmm. President William Ruto, he was in that team. You've seen several... But he's a Kenyan who's very political. No, 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 no. He's, um, you said ordinary. What is ordinary here? Ordinary <laughs> Kenyan. <laughs> no, the meaning, he's, he's not a party leader. Uh. He's not a party leader. He's not a member of, elected member of parliament. Uh, he's not a, a government official who works for the executive or works for the judiciary. Mm. That's what I mean. So that if he, you know when you say that it's Kenya Kwanzaa, mm -hmm. then if it was the secretary general of Kenya Kwanzaa who's bringing in the petition, then you can say this is not a, this is a party 
uh, a person who's partisan. That is what I mean. Okay. And mm -hmm. let's, let, let me also correct an issue mm. where he says that uh, uh, the chairperson, Chebukati, mm -hmm. was uh, doing Kenya Kwanzaa's bidding. First of all, again, this is where we mislead Kenyans. Kenyans voted at a polling station, which polling station has no more than 700 persons at a polling station. The counting was done at a polling station of no less than, no more than 700 people. Mm -hmm. the, the announcement was made at a polling station. The result was sent to the portal at the polling station. If you listen to my final speech during the rallies, I told Kenyans, polling station, your system, polling station, do your uh, your server. Everything happens at the polling station. I even told them Chebukati does not make any other announcement other than what was announced at the polling station. Okay. That is what was happening at Bombas. So Chebukati has no results of his own. Okay. Oh, the right. results were physically brought from each polling station uh, to the constituency tiling center and then brought to uh, uh, brought to Bombas. Believe me, there is no. I want him to tell me one result that was announced by Chebukati that was different from the one at the polling station, then maybe we can say Chebukati was biased. So please, let us be factual about this. Mm. Let us not mislead Kenyans. Let us not uh, make incorrect political facts, factual statements. Okay. I also uh, have taken uh, issues. Uh, with just hold on. Harabu Kosing, you have anything to say to that? Uh, uh, you know, uh, Sam. Because you're the one who made the was allegation that in, Chibukati... In there was no counting you, look, you, got, you know, you know, you know, you know, Boz huh. was an agent uh -huh. in, in Bomas. So. Yeah, he was, she was an agent in Proudly Bomas. Proudly so. Uh -huh. And she did all the things that uh, uh, she did there. You know, you know, let me tell you something. <laughs> Which is what? Uh, you, you can ask her. You should tell me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Sam, you're here. We're seeing it, of course, we're seeing it. You know, Sam, but you know, what did she let us not go outside the issue. Yes. It's good that you called us in the uh. beginning of this debate. Yes. Let me say it again. Mm. We have chosen a wrong route. <laughs> this country is going to but stop. I, okay. Let me tell you something. You know why? Uh. Because, as I said, this thing, if you look at both, from my both sides, it's decided. The, the jail like man has made a decision. These people are rock. They should go home. Uh, Beaujolais, and, and it will come to parliament. And you expect that it will come from him, John, to Beaujolais. This thing is decided. We must be open then. No you know, we, we, <laughs> we, we, we are leaders. And you're going to be able to see some. The way th things are going, you say this is not the right. And that's why I'm saying there are, there are so many available mechanisms okay. Some I think of addressing this issue. Let's talk about something else, which is... Um, um, just, just to, just it's, to point it's out related. Something. It's uh, related. Um, on, on this, I, I think the Azimio side uh. has been helpless. And, and they are not helpless because of anything, anything else. It, it's because they, they are not able to pick out facts. They don't seem to have support of facts on what they are alleging. Now, you have put a clip here where Raila Odinga has said... Uh, that uh, these people are now rogue, they are, they, are, they are acting outside of the law, and they were even rigged into the office. I mean, where is Raila Odinga using, where, where is he getting those facts to base his argument that uh, uh, William Samoy Ruto was mm -hmm. rigged into office, when we in fact know that it was a legit process that produced the president of this which republic. Which submitted to the Supreme Court. Which was sub submitted to the Supreme Court, and even the Supreme Court made their own ruling. So why then would he say that uh, uh, William Samoy Ruto was rigged into office and that now he's going to organize uh, Mandamano, uh, because uh, the, 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 because of the process of the removal of the, which again is also happening within the law. And when you <laughs> listen to the Azimio side, they seem to say that we operate outside of the law. The question is outside. That is it. And when you ask them to come and make presentations, even to the committee, you listen to the presentations they are making, and you wonder why would you hire top-notch lawyers uh -huh. to come and make such a flimsy argument? But, which but is can, you not can you imagine a day like man saying and flimsy course, and for you? <laughs> And, 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 course, and he's leaving this. And of no, no, course, uh, and of course I'm, I'm saying flimsy because and, and leaving this I'm, I'm and leaving I'm this discussion and going when to both of you speak, no one can hear you. You know, and prosecute this matter. No, it's flimsy because Moshimua, 
<laughs> even you, yeah, no. even you, you are not a lawyer. No, no, no. You are not a lawyer. If someone comes and makes an you, argument, but you cannot be that, you present, that you present the independent <laughs> commissioners to the to the committee on powers and privileges in Parliament, that that is a, a committee that would have jurisdiction. Sincerely speaking, Mweshimwa Kosing, you would also see that there is a challenge with that, okay. and that is why in, in, that was overruled again in JLAC. And, and based on that, yeah. the Azimio side of JLAC walked out. You know. And, 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 and really, Honorable Kagusha, we watched that on TV. T tell me this: um, there is a proposed amendment to the IABC Act yeah. uh, that seeks to reorganise how you pick the selection panel yeah. that is supposed to recruit new commissioners. And I just want to quickly look at it, um, partly to shift. Currently, the Parliamentary Service Commission contributes or uh, nominates four people to mm -hmm. the selection panel. Yeah. That is being proposed to change to retain them at two. Then the Public Service Commission will take one. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Political Parties Liaison Committee will take one. LSK will retain one. And Inter Religious Council of Kenya will retain two. Yeah. So the, recently the President gazetted uh, the pending, um, what is the word? The, the, um, the vacancies that are just about to arise in January next year yeah. because Jebukati and uh, Molu and uh, Gulia yeah. are just about to exit. Yeah. Why are you amending the law now? Why not recruit based on the current law because it is still allowed to recruit before the, their term ends? No, they, they, no this no. was a requirement of the court. Was, the court, was, was, the decision was. of the court said mm -hmm. that Parliament, the Parliamentary Service Commission, mm -hmm. by nominating four people to the selection mm -hmm. panel, mm -hmm. was having a super majority, mm -hmm. and therefore politicians could influence mm -hmm. the selection of uh, the appointment of persons to the office or the, of commission of the uh, commission. So it was a requirement by. Mm -hmm. it. So what is happening is that amendment is to cure the mischief that had been pointed out by the law. And that happens all the time. Mm -hmm. Many times the courts recommend on something and what happens is parliament activates it. Sometimes you implement it. You can implement a, a court decision directly right. or you could, uh, the neater way amendment. is to have an amendment of the law, yes. That mm -hmm. also depoliticizes uh, this process because also. now you have, you have fewer members of parliament at the selection committee uh, or a selection panel and you have more members now from other institutions like Law Society of Kenya, uh, like Public Service Commission. You have more people now who are not uh, in the assembly mm -hmm. uh, because, again, the same uh, panel will pick people who will come to the assembly. So why would you want to have the politicians sitting in this uh, selection panel and then bringing them again to the same politicians in the, in the National Assembly? Again, as uh, Mweshimua Bosa said, uh, every time we have an election and uh, we go to Supreme Court, the Supreme Court makes an array of uh, suggestions and proposals and, uh, uh, and, and and those ones are again picked during the year or during the five year term to, mm -hmm. uh, for implementation. Mm -hmm. So you find like a lot of the things that now are implemented in the last general election like uh, voting starting and ending at the polling center. Mm -hmm. uh, and, I mean that is something that had been recommended uh, by the uh, by the Supreme Court in 2017. They mm -hmm. recommended there being a, an open server that are, rather than a closed server. Again, that was implemented. Okay. And some of those things, when they are implemented, they cure the challenges that we, we experience during the, the, the voting process. Mm -hmm. And so this is being done in compliance with the law. And I want okay. to assure you, the president, Th that's fine. Honorable Kosing, do you have the any president has been very keen yeah. on implementing the law and acting and doing all the work within. I, I hear you. Honorable Kosing, do you have any problem with the proposed um, cost constitution of the recruitment panel? Because I had, I think it was Honorable Martha Karua saying that um, the amendment seeks to bring um, a recruiting panel that will bring commissioners that are uh, towards, that, that's of the interests of the president. Do you have a problem with the recruitment panel has proposed. Maybe she didn't read the judgment of the court. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Sam, this is an, 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 an under interrogation, mm. right? And uh, yes, in, in politics, there's a lot of suspicion always, you know, and you can allow people to be able to be suspicious. Mm -hmm. And then they will be suspicious forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody will be suspicious forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remember even last time, the people who took uh, this uh, law to yeah. court yeah. are now the people in leadership at the moment. Right? They were supporting it. It was taken by some other people, they were supporting it. Now it is for them, and the other side is, is, is going. I, 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 think, I think, Sam, going forward, mm -hmm. in, 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 in my view, and I'm going to propose an amendment to this uh, 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 bill yep. uh, at, at the right time. Uh, you see, there's suspicion that when you say some other people are appointing outside, then there's a possibility that anybody also can influence the person they're going to bring, and therefore they'll have majority mm -hmm. in the panel. And therefore they can decide who becomes 
who becomes who. Maybe the best thing is, let us divide it in accordance with the, the, the strength, your strength in parliament. Or, you, you know, uh, so that now, rather than, you know, you, you know this two from uh, Parliamentary Service Commission, you know, uh, you know what that means? Mm -hmm. It means that there are, the, there are two coalitions, big coalitions in parliament now, KK and Azmio. Mm -hmm. So it means that Azmio will bring one and KK one. That's what it actually means in, uh, in yeah. a very salient way, okay. right? So rather than then bringing th these three from other bodies, which you suspect that somebody can interfere with, which is true, then we, we can now say, okay, out of all these people, we divide it in accordance, in, in according to the, to the strength in parliament. Yes, so if there are five... But it should appear that's what the, the, the court was trying to cure, because if you have four coming from the Parliamentary Service Commission, that is at the center of control by the politicians. Uh, you, you see, this is a political process. It's just like uh, Sam, you are being asked, you are, you are players, right? There are two teams. Mm. You must agree on the, on the referee. I am One saying. side can also, maybe, and, and, and because there's a lot of contestations, blames, and not, not, not accepting, we find a formula. And that's why I'm thinking, maybe going forward, this is my own thinking, right? Maybe going forward, rather than all these problems, say, okay, fine, let us divide it. It's only the panel, it's not the, it's not the people you are, you are employing. Mm -hmm. So then we say, okay, fine, let us divide it in, a, in the strength, in, in your strength in parliament. So and, th and that's what I'm saying. The High Court would appear to have had a problem with that because four out of seven in the recruitment panel gives so much strength to the politicians, the political class. And, and that is why I'm saying there will be a problem forever. <laughs> right? Because okay. if it favors this, because politics is about suspicion. Mm. That's where the problem is. That's why I'm saying um, we, might, we might need to interrogate that further mm. and say how do we re reduce suspicions. Okay. Yes, and, and make the, the, the players in politics be comfortable. The court cannot be comfortable alone, Sam, if they're players, they're players themselves. Is that a possibility, Honorable Kosing? It is a possibility. I mean, we've had so many elections contested now since 2007. Is it possible for every politician to be satisfied? We, we, are, we might have then reduced, uh, reduced uh, contestation. We might not have zero, but we'll have, we will have reduced. So the best way is, then, what do these people want? If we say, for example, now, divide it uh, uh, in, in your strength, mm. like what we did in East Africa, right? Mm. East African Parliament. Okay. There's not too much noise.